హలో ఎవరి దిస్ ఇస్ ప్రశాంత్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ వీఆర్ ఇన్ అవర్ ప్లే రైట్ పైతాన్ సిరీస్ లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ వీ సి సో అబౌట్ డ్రాప్ డౌన్ రైట్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సి అనదర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ ఇస్ రేడియో బటన్ అండ్ చెక్ బాక్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ వీ నీడ్ టు నో వాట్ ఈస్ రేడియో బటన్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ చెక్ బాక్స్ సో బేసికలీ రేడియో బటన్ ఇస్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద రేడియో బటన్ ఓకే లైక్ ద జెండర్ ఇస్ రైట్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్ వీ కాల్ ఇస్ ద రేడియో బటన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఫ్యూచర్ ఆఫ్ రేడియో బటన్ ఇస్ we can able to select only one option in the radio button so they in those places the developer will keep a the radio button check box it uh, check box going to be a in, in square manner so this is this check box we use for multi selection like multi means one or more than one selection so for that we can able to select more than one option but in radio button it is denoted by the circular but we can choose either only one okay so that is called radio button and this is called a uh, tick box okay in our automation right now we are going to do how to click this any one option and it this check box okay right now we will see okay. so first of all we need to inspect suppose i want to click on the female means i want to inspect and see this this is the label it's highlighted in the blue color so i'm expanding it when i expand it inside there is a input tag it is type is what radio that's a type radio and time name is radio options ng model value is a female okay this is the one web element so for this we need to write a xpath before that as usual daily basis what we'll do na so we will right click on the project click on a new go to python file this is radio and check box so i'm giving this name from playwright dot sync api from this import the sync playwright in the script write with sync playwright i will maximize little it will easy for you as p p r we can use any any i am giving you p okay so first thing as usual what we do first of all we need to create a browser from p dot i am going to create a chromium chrome browser i want to launch the browser in this i want to make headless to false okay and after that creating a browser i need to create a page from the browser i need to create a new page after the page i need to go to the url so for that i need to use a go to method and i want to copy this url and i want to paste it here so this from this four lines of code we do daily basis we do daily so first of all i am going to see the radio button so for that i'm going to create a variable so this is a radio button okay so in this radio button i'm going to store the locator so for that i'm going to use a query selector so i'm putting a control f in this place so when i put a control f so this box will open okay after that so i want to see what is the best option best xpath i can take so in this out of this type name ng module and value value only giving the some meaningful data like it's a it's showing as a female okay so right now as usual what is the syntax for xpath so syntax for xpath is double slash tag name what is the tag name tag name is called input in this see this input in maroon color input square bracket at value equal to in double quotation i want to paste copy paste this female and paste this see this it's one of one right it's one of one okay that means it's a unique so i'm copying this i'll paste it here cool right after that there are two options will help us one is click another one is check 
both the methods are useful to us so i will show both the things so what is the variable name radio button dot click so i can use click as well as radio button dot check as well so i will need to use any one okay so i am first time showing in the click so before that i am going to add the weight to show you guys like for some times so the screen should be visible for some times so i am using a normal weight here so i am running this method so it will launch the browser it's go to the url after that clicking on the female button see this we will click on the female option okay so right now we saw click right i'm i'm commenting this click and uncommenting this this checkbox so for commenting and comment you want to select this control forward slash or for for this d command command like uh, for if you're using uh, mac means use command if you are using windows mean use control and again forward slash so forward if we do again it will it will do like that so i'm using check method see this it's showing the female as well okay cool right right now we saw this right okay next thing is we are going to see the another topic call check box okay how to implement as usual i'm going to create a check box i'm storing a web element query selector in this query selector so in this case i want to click on the cricket like check box the cricket so when i inspect it see this there is input there is a label there is two things you want to know guys input is the entire the small square bracket is coming right that is the input this cricket movies names are always comes under label so in the label tag is a like text tag actually label is a text so in real time i i, I don't know how many is noted you can able if you click on the check box also this will selected if you are in, in clicking on the name also in most of the application it will selected it will differ between okay so i'm going to take the id value as what cricket so i'm taking the input tag value as cricket see this one of one so it's highlighted i'm copying this i'm adding in here okay after that, what is the next step you guys know simply variable name dot check or click anything it's useful both will use in play right okay see here i created the variable and i'm checking it okay see this it simply selected the cricket as well as the female in this cool right okay this and only anyone can do but we are a tester we need to verify after clicking that button that button is clicked or not that is the tester's work we need to verify this button is clicked or not so for that right now we are going to the validation so how to do the validation so i'm going to create a if statement if this radio button yes see there are so many options checked hidden enabled visible disabled and everything but our case we are going to check so because we clicked right that is check operation so this is a, here i am teaching you two things this is a if statement it is it is python basically it's python so if statement if this condition is true if true what is the true if this radio button is checked means it will give the true and it goes inside in that i am going to print as passed okay else else means other option else print as a failed cool right i am going to do the same thing for check box as well so here i want to change the name as check box so i want to verify the radio button is selected is checked it means passed if i am checking check box is selected means pass okay i am giving the run again so this time it will select the female option and cricket and it will validate that is a tester's basic work 
see this past and both the past in here okay so this is that ready button and checkbox you guys try you can select any website or even i am giving this website website url in the description use this as well uh, in next class i am going to teach the same thing so you guys need to have a doubt prashant you are only clicked the cricket but you show we can create multiple check check means so how you will do so in basic manner what we will do we will create a three different web elements and for three you want to click 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 but that is the old fashion we need to store all this in a same variable so that is the variable you are going to study in the next class that is a list list in python so next class we will learn list python then how to store a here right now we are studying one of one means only one web element suppose you are, you are getting a three web elements means how we will store in a single variable using a list next class is that only we are going to study the list concept in a in python and how to store more than one web element in a list so that is we are going to see in the next class okay thanks for joining in if you like the video please like share and subscribe to your friends we'll meet on the next video bye